Hi guys, it's Angela with Cali Mom Collects and today I have a box of thread up jewelry to open for you guys. This is thread ups five pound rescue box of jewelry and it came from Suwanee, Georgia. So let's just get right into this box. Ooh, what's this right here? Ooh, what is this right here? Okay, first before I get started, I want to say thank you for being here. I appreciate all you guys and I hope you're all well. Um, if you are new, I am a reseller and I'm looking for pieces to resell in these boxes of jewelry. And I also give my subscribers a discount. So if you are new, I will need you to email me at CallieMomCollects for you at gmail.com. And before you're able to purchase something, I'm going to need your real name, your PayPal email, and your shipping address. So you can email me all that information. And from now on, I'm going to kind of keep track of who registers to buy from me. Um, I've been having some issues with people saying that they want stuff and then me not hearing from them again. And it's, it's, I don't have the time to go back and tell people, okay, this person didn't, didn't want this. Do you want it? And so, um, I'm going to have lists once you register, you will, how I do it is when you email me, I give priority to the ones who emailed me first, and then I go on from there. And if you have, if you tell me you want something and then you don't, I don't ever hear from you again, you're going to not have that priority privilege. You're going to go on to basically a first warning list and um, I will give the priority to the people who actually follow through with their orders or they at least like I'm super flexible. If you change your mind, just let me know. I'm even flexible for the ones who say, can you hold this till Thursday or, you know, can you wait until I only found one piece this time? Can you wait and see if I find another piece in your next lot so that they can save on shipping? I'm super, super flexible. So therefore, if you communicate with me, I will work with you. But if you tell me you want something and I never hear from you again, more than likely you're not going to be able to buy from me for, I'll give you one warning and then that will be it. You won't be able to purchase from me. So yeah. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. I'm going to scoop most everything out of the way and try to show you guys pieces one by one. All right, let's get started. So this first piece, look at how huge this pendant is. And to me, it looks like a dyed howlite. Really long chain on this one. Look at my scissors. It has this little is over three inches it's like three and a half inches and it has the little crystals up at the top so that's really cute I like that one oh this is really cute it looks like dried flowers let's look a little closer no, is that paint? Is that dried flowers? It's really cute, whatever it is. It's on a braided, like a silk 
rope and this little button clasp cute little earrings infinity earring studs little bobble bar studs stars it's missing one of them Well, that's nice. This is really heavy. Well, this is bobble bar as well. Bobble bar. And then it has the raised setting there with the faux pearls. Ooh, this one's, this one's small and I kind of have a small wrist. All right, that's not happening. So this is definitely for a small wrist. It's cute. The gold tone is in really good condition. I see another one. This is also by Bobble Bar. This kind of has a two tiered. Let's see if this one's. Yeah, this one's small too. Geez, what is the opening on this? It's like less than an inch. Now it can be pulled a little bit, but I'm, yeah, small wrist. How are you guys all doing? I hope you guys are all doing well. Baseball season is almost over. And then I will try to do more than one video a week again, like I was. And I have a lot of different ideas for the channel, different things. I want to start doing subscriber care packages once a month where I put together a cute little package for my subscribers and kind of do a drawing kind of like a giveaway but I'm calling it a care package and also I am wanting to share pieces from my collection with you guys and maybe talk about the worth the value of these items and how to test and stuff like that so yeah I have I have some ideas I'm wanting to do different stuff I don't want to say I'm getting bored with the jewelry unboxings but I just don't want only that on the channel so I'm working on it guys I have officially passed my one year so I am trying to trying to do different things all right so this is just a you see that I wrapped it three or four times here we've got tassels we've got like a peach color and it's got a fabric over these beads it's fun okay I have come across these before Rasta clat Rasta clat just simple little braided bracelets fashion earrings. I'll leave them in the package. Okay, we have a hinged bracelet and this brand right there is Sea Wonder. It's nice. It's almost reminds me of like a, a Tory Burch. Why are there D's? It's D's, or is it like this? Well, anyways, I believe that brand is Sea Wonder. It's a cute, cute bracelet. Whoa, look at that. I've got some art glass here, and then a purple, almost lavender leather. All right, there is a brand here. It's like a butterfly, a branded butterfly. This is really cute. It feels nice. I feel like this is a either an artisan or a designer piece. It's adjustable. You could have it on either. Cute. That's a nice piece. All right. 
Got a cute stretch. Oh, it's J. Crew. Let's see. Let's just make sure all of the rhinestones are there. This cute, kind of like a teal green color. I like it. Double strand faux pearl. And that is Charming Charlie's. It's in really good condition. It's nice and heavy. It doesn't feel cheap. This is an Express necklace. We've got faceted glass three layers each layer is a different size the smaller beads medium and then the larger beads and this is a cute piece I can't tell if that is a black bead in between or a blue it looks black to me but my eyes aren't the best Cute little shell pieces. A little different than some of the others that we normally see. Barrel clasp. We got a ring. Okay. Not seeing any marks on the inside. Kind of looks like a blue, light blue topaz color and then a dark blue. Let's see here. Oh, it's magnetic. All right. So I'm thinking this is just a fashion, a cute little fashion ring. Let's see what size. About six and a quarter. It looks almost black, but it, I think it's navy blue. All right, we have what looks like a little kiwi slice. Came off of something, a little pendant. Plastic acrylic. All right, this is cute. We've got this brown leather cord and then these raspberry pink faceted, what looks like glass or stone. Very simple boho style. And then the little charms on the ends are birds, peace sign. And it is one of those that can, you can pull to make longer. Let me see. I'm going to see if it is glass or stone. Ooh, okay. It this is it's at the end of the quartz and the beginning of the jadeite, but I do believe this is a quartz. A raspberry colored quartz. Very cute like it. We've got gold tone links and some of the links are hammered and some of the links have pave crystals. And it looks like we have a Stella and Dot. Yep, really good condition on the gold tone. Cute Stella and Dot piece. And 
little rhinestone stretch. Oh, I see, hold on a second, I see we got a couple. Is that it? Nope, nope, nope. Any more? All right, we've got four little rhinestone stretches. And, oh, one of them has a missing. Let's see if I see any more. Okay. I only noticed one on one of the strands. We have this bronze colored pendant that looks like you could take it on or off these pink either glass or stones and then this suede suede cord pink and brown really cute let's see if this one is glass or stone mm. nope this one is just glass so this is colored glass, kind of like a bubblegum pink color. All right, we've got purples and lavender colors. We've got some seed beads and then some glass, which felt like glass. That hook clasp. Some of them have an iridescence on them. Cute. Got some rainbow hoops. These are the in and out ones so that when you're wearing them like this, you can see the rhinestones on the inside and outside. And what does that say? Sugar fix. Okay, so we've got cute little rainbow sugar fi fix hoops. I'm putting the earrings, the single earrings up there until I find a match or until the end, whichever comes first. We have a dainty little gold chain, and then it has these little gold ball beads. It's upside down, but it looks like Monet. I'm gonna try to show you, but okay, so we got Monet. Dainty, the gold tone is in really good condition. All right, we have a long one. Silver tone. And the, the let's see. Hmm. Mm -hmm. These might be some type of acrylic or something like that. And then these have enamel and a little rhinestone in the center. Those sound like glass. So we could have some acrylic or glass pieces, but the it's heavy, so but it could be the little enamel pieces that are heavy. It's cute, very cute. It doesn't feel cheap. Maybe a little bit of fading up on the chain though. Whoa, what is this? Wow. This is cheap. Goes. 
So we got a Chico's, but it has, has a Native American vibe to it with this more than likely faux turquoise. I'm thinking that it's probably a dyed. And then this large silver tone pendant in the center. Really, really neat design. And then all of these chip pieces. Look how cool this is. Really nice. Oh yeah, Chico's for sure, Chico's. Really nice Chico's piece. This should be a good seller. Okay, we've got some tassels. Another long one. Still long, doubled. Probably could even be tripled. Coral color and then a ivory white color. I don't know if you'd be able to get it tripled over your head. You might want to stick with the doubled. But it's light. These are just acrylic beads. Fun necklace. Paparazzi guitar earrings. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, nice. They attached the earrings on there for me. Okay, we have seed beads, macrame, very artisan look here. Cute. And it comes with matching earrings. That's awesome. Oh, almost forgot about this one. Okay, we have a lot of jewelry in this lot that has either leather or suede. So this has the toggle clasp. It doesn't look like silver. Then a dark chocolate brown suede and then the greens and a little, looks like we've got some abalone, almost like mosaic looking on that one. Cute. We have a Brittany bracelet. Brittany, gold tone. Doesn't look to be real gold, it looks to be gold tone. Yep, gold tone. This is cool. What do we got going on here? We've got some carved wood animals. Wood beads, very tribal looking. Oh no! The front half of the giraffe is broken off. What a bummer. I'm thinking you could totally just snip that off. Snip the giraffe off. Because the rest of the carved pieces look to be Nice. Well, and then you'll have three animals and then only two. Ah, bummer. I don't know what to do about this one then. I don't know if you'd even notice. Well, yeah. Oh. Now that I notice it, I notice it. But that would have been really cute. The beaded choker necklace. Kind of a almost like a periwinkle blue color with some iridescence on the beads. Oh, 
another cuff. What does this one say? This is also a sugar fix. This one is bigger than the other ones. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, see we have White House Black Market. And we have this lavender and gold tone, a three strand bracelet. Really pretty. This is really pretty and it feels nice. Go tone looks to be in pretty good condition. Maybe a little bit of fading right there in the clasp. But this is a cute piece. all these earrings. Okay, these are really long, kind of like shoulder dusters. Gold tone. Looks to be in good, con good condition. We have a Scrabble tile pendant. I have come across these before, just a little fashion. I can't even tell what that picture is of trees. Looks like tree trunks. Oh, how cute. This is like similar to the, the other one that we had with the um, dried flowers in the pendant. So it's like a resin over the, resin or glass? What does this say? Yoya? Really cute. Kind of like an antiqued gold tone on this one. I am seeing some darkening on the top of this chain. But it kind of has that vintage antiqued gold tone look anyway, so I don't even know if it would be noticeable. Still cute. More tassels. All right. Like the other one, this is really long. Here's it doubled. We've got silver colors, clear, beiges and creams and kind of like an antique gold tone. This is a nice layering piece. And it has these little silver drops. More faux pearls. Okay, this is really pretty with this rhinestone bow here, but I am seeing a couple missing rhinestones right up here at the top. I will try to fix that. Okay. Yes, that is Carol Lee. Great designer for this style, like the faux pearl and the vintage look. And this one, this is like a choker length. We've got some glass beads. It's forming a little tassel here. That's a pretty, pretty glass bead. We've got greens and blues. We've 
got golds and reds in this one. This one also does form like a little tassel here with the gold and red heart glass. Glass hearts, cute. Simple little brown and blue. Looks like cat's eye beads and then some maybe dyed stone. Simple. Got another little simple choker. This one looks kind of cheapy. Yep, this looks like a Claire's piece. Uh oh. All right, let's put that aside. Oh, I don't want to mess with that right now. A rhinestone necklace. I do not see any designers on it. I'm looking to see if they are all there. And it looks like it. I'm not seeing any missing ones. Oh, this is pretty. Look at the color on this. This is definitely faceted glass. It has like this really pretty iridescence on it. And this color is, goodness, what is this color? Kind of like a blue green in the AB. This is gorgeous. It's just beautiful. Sure does sparkle. Okay, we have a gold tone up here. 1946. 1946, and it looks like a C. Hmm. Sure is gorgeous. Got a simple stretch, and like a blue. double layer necklace. This one would fit right under the neck. And we have a bunch of glass, little glass beads, butterflies, leaves. Cute. All right, where does this one start and end? I don't know. Okay. All right. Here we go. So this is a long one. We've got some faux pearls and little shell pieces and then little shell charms. Very natural, earthy colors. plastic rose studs. Little bangle bracelet, silver tone. Doesn't look like silver. It doesn't look like silver to me, but I'll let you guys know. Oh, this feels nice. This feels nice and heavy for not being a really thick chain, too. And it has like this horn, antler horn. I don't know if they're supposed to be bull's horns. I'm not sure. And 
I don't know if that's a resin or a wood. The gold tone is in really good condition. No brands, but this is not a cheap piece either. It feels nice. Oh, I think I remember this one. We've got a match. These also are long. We've got the black bead and then the long gold tone tassel. See if I see any brands. I do not. I see these. We've got cute little grape earrings, cluster of grape earrings. Really cute. And little glass beads. This looks like a little fashion ring. Almost six and a half, about six and a half. Oh, we got a couple other rings. Let's see, we have a little red and blue and music note dangles. The music note looks a little off color from the hooks. Looks like fashion ring. This one does as well with a little, little crystal. Let's just make sure it's not diamond. It is little. Wait a minute, where is that going? Let me make sure I'm on the right. And why is this moving up? Oops. Might be touching the metal. Okay. I don't think so. We've got this little rhinestone one that is a seven. Little petite band. And we have this little one that is a six. And it has one single little tiny crystal. Ooh, what is this? All right, we have, let's move everything over. I'm a little excited. It looks like we have the liquid silver. We'll test that. We have the vintage barrel clasp and we have the dream catcher. It looks like a vintage Native American piece. Let's test the and see if this is real silver because that'll make a huge difference on the value. All right, let's. I think that's a good enough scratch. It is silver. Can you see it? All right, so this is sterling silver. This is the liquid, liquid sterling silver with the red bead 
Dreamcatcher. This is vintage, it has the barrel clasp. This is a cool piece. That is a really cool piece. I almost forgot to wipe it off. Okay. All right, these are really unique. They have a gold tone. And what well, looks like it could be a stone. Kind of looks like it could be a dyed quartz. Cute. Cute design on these. Kind of like a painted gold. I've seen that sometimes with the stone pieces. They paint the edges in like a gold guild. Let's see what it says. Let's see if it is glass or stone. Okay, it's in the jade and iolite, but it doesn't look like jade to me. I see too, too much. It looks like quartz to me, but you guys can let me know what you think that is. They're really cute. Really cute. They feel nice. Oh, this matches the the necklace from earlier. Where did that go? Is it a match? Somewhat. This has kind of more of like a bronzy tone though, but there are gold pieces and it is the same. I do see the same. Maybe these are artisan. Cute little set. Love the pink. Ooh, what is this? I'm not seeing any marks. Oh, and I am seeing some fading here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. There is a little bit of fading on there. This is more than likely faceted glass. It's a pretty yellow. can't really see the fading when you're wearing it, but it's probably on the side. Let me see. Yes, this is a glass. See, when you look at it here, you can't see the fading. It's just on the side there. All right, let's get a size. We have a seven and a half. Really pretty yellow glass. Alrighty, some single earrings, bangle bracelet, fashion, fashion bangle bracelet. We have another one of these stretch bracelets. Gonna figure out how to open this. Got a silver tone in little black pieces. It doesn't look to be oops, like sterling silver, but Let's test it just to be sure. I haven't tested a lot yet. Oh no, nope. May still have the possibility of being a silver plate, but it's definitely not solid silver. I see that brass, that bronzy um, color coming through. Mm, 
No. I do think maybe I see a little tiny bit, but not enough. Not enough to title it as a silver plate. Still cute though, it feels substantial. It doesn't feel cheap. I see a pair. We have these little acrylic hoops. Fat, fat hoops. We have a lava bead bracelet. There's a little owl here that looks like it has a tarnish, so I just want to make sure that the owl is not silver. No. No, it is not. So we just have a little lava bead with an owl. Oops. Another little bangle bracelet. Fashion. We have this that's brand new with the tags. What do we got going on? It looks like multi-layer. All right, we have a multi-layer infinity necklace, silver tone. Just says a cero. This one, we have this one in here. Gold tone in leather. Very artsy with all these different shapes. All right. Okay, before we get to the little pieces, I probably should address this mess and then we'll finish up with the little pieces. I see we have a Leah Sophia piece tangled in here. I do not like tangles. Got some hair tangled in there. All right. Looks like I got this one undone. Oh, wait. Nope. We still have two pieces here. Oh, geez. What? So I just had to push pause on the video because I heard Luna getting into something. I went out of my office, and Luna is our puppy. Well, she's not. She's still a puppy. She just turned seven months. But she is the most precious bundle of trouble we've ever had the pleasure of having. Love her to death. And her personality is honestly what makes her so special. But back to my point was... When I went out, she had gotten into a pack of gum. So she had the gum package out, chewing on a couple pieces, enjoying herself until I disrupted her. But yeah, she definitely is one you have to keep an eye on all the time because she's always getting into something. I feel like I've I've gotten something like this before. I may have gotten this exact sa same necklace before. And actually, I remember it even had the same fading on the glass beads. So this just might be what happens to this necklace. Or maybe that's how it started off. I don't think so, but... All right. Leah Sophia, three strands. The top beads may or may not be fading. The color might be fading. 
The gold tone looks to be in pretty good condition. Sophia, Sophia. Okay. We also have a little angel. Cute little angel. Does that say Disney? Disney. All right. What Disney has an angel? I'm out of the loop because my kids are older now. Unless this little pendant doesn't even go with it. But nevertheless, we have a little angel necklace that says Disney. All right. Oh, geez. All right, I'm not gonna spend too much time trying to get this. There's, wait, what is this? This one looks like it could be silver. Hold on a minute. It is in a knot that I will try to get out, but I do see one of these. And that is a sign of a silver necklace. Yes, 925. It has a Y and a 925. It's really dainty and it is in a knot. But I will get the knot out and probably try to find a pendant to go with that before I list it. Okay. So we still are kind of left with a mess. But we'll get, you know, and we're kind of left with some hair. Okay, so... Here's this pendant on this chain. Then there's this little rose gold dainty chain making a terrible mess with it. And the rose gold says J and J. Is that a J? What does that say? Or are there arrows? Maybe they're arrows. All right, anyways, two necklaces tangled together. And then we're down to the little pieces, the little bits, what I like to call them. Oops, that's a bracelet. And that says something. What does it say? A dainty little cuff bracelet. Okay, this says sugar fix as well. We got a few of those sugar fix bracelets. And then this is it. Let's see what we've got in there. All right, I am seeing cute little glass snowmen with scarves. Look at how cute those little guys are. They are glass. I'm not seeing those. Oh, we have more snowman. These feel like a resin. I'm not seeing that match. And that match or that match. Ooh, these are cute. They look like little, do they look like pansies? Kind of like a really pretty bright orange color. They're clips. I'm not seeing any designers, but those are cute. I like them. What is this? All right, that looks little, it looks artisan made, it doesn't look. All right. Little quilted pink heart earrings, kind of has like a vintage look to it, but they feel resin. No. Oh my goodness. Look at these little 
glass owl stud earrings. They're glass. How did they survive this bag? They're so cute. Okay. Kind of like a hot coral rose. These also have that vintage quilt looking to them. Little stars. Oh, oh my goodness. Glass flip-flop studs. So cute. Little glass frogs. Somebody had a little glass stud earring collection. Cute turtles. We've got some clip earrings. It does look like it says something on the back. It's upside down. 925DQCZ. So, these are little sterling silver, and it does look to have a tarnish on it, so I do believe that it is little sterling silver and CZ clip earrings. Cute. Very cute. Actually, I'm going to keep those together. Don't want to lose one of them. Have a little brushed gold dangle earrings. Oh, we got little ladybugs. We got little glass ladybugs. What looks like a cat, a little flower, and a little dolphin. I'm not seeing the the pair. Single earrings. We've got some charms. It looks like we have some charms here. Pieces to earrings. Got those ones. Kind of had a J. Crew look to me, but there's no markings. Had that antiqued gold tone. I already, you know what? I think I put stuff in the pile that I already, because we already saw those. What's going on? All right, we have these. We have more little grapes. Somebody liked grapes. All right, I think these are all singles. Single earrings. Then we have all these little charms. That looks like it says something. Okay, that says 925. We have a little music note sliding charm. This is 925 S L A A. Okay, you're probably not going to be able to see that, but it looked like there was a tarnish and there's a it's a lion. I don't know if it's from the Wizard of Oz, but it's a sliding sterling silver sliding charm. Nope, I see some fading. Okay, if any of the others, I don't think so. All right. All right, guys, then the rest here is single earrings. So that is it. I'm going to go ahead and pull back my favorites and end this video. 
All right, here it is, guys. Here are my favorites from this lot. Hands down, my favorite is this vintage Native American liquid silver necklace. And also this Chico's piece is quite remarkable. I love all the glass pieces like this artisan glass bracelet and all the little glass earrings, this stone and leather, this glass piece. Um, yeah, we got the other little sterling silver clips and charms and there were quite a few pieces in here that I did like. I hope you guys enjoyed this lot and spending this time with me. I hope you're all well. Thank you for being here and until next time, bye.